I'd like you to come do the dishes, please. Why can't you just do them? Hey, watch it. Okay. Oh, wow. well, I'm Pennywise. Ugh, I'm so bored. Oh, I know, I should read a book. Thank you. Don't do that again. Mom, I'm gonna start the movie. Are you ready? Just wait, I'm getting a drink. <sighs> okay. Are you ready now? Actually, just wait. I better go to the washroom first. Oh. Okay, I'm ready. This movie is based on a true story about Alfred Pickleman as a young boy who... Mom, what? You know I can read, right? Oh, sorry. Oh, I know that actor. He's from the movie with, um, ah, what's your name? I don't know, Mom. That's gonna bug me. What are you doing? Sorry, I was just getting a snack. What did I miss? Here, I'll just go back. No, 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 just tell me. The guy basically just drove back to his house after getting the phone call. Oh my gosh. I wonder if someone's gonna be waiting there for him. I was not expecting that. Were you? Everyone get on the line. I'm gonna make teams for the next game. Go down the line so we're on the same team. Good idea. One, two. One, two. One, yes. two. One, two. Uh, psst, One, spots? Whatever. Two. One, two. Two. What? One. All right, can I get the ones over there and the twos over here? I'm hungry. Can we go get snacks? Yeah, we can go get some. I'm not hungry right now. <laughs> Me? Go get them? Yeah, just go into my pantry. Parents don't care. Are you sure you're not hungry? Nope. I gotta go get something. Bro, I cheated a taxi driver today. How did you do that? I paid him, then I ran away. What's the Wi-Fi password? You need to buy a drink first. Okay, I'll have a Coke. Is Pepsi okay? Sure, how much is that? Three dollars. There you go. So what's the Wi-Fi password? You need to buy a drink first. All lowercase and no spaces. Here's why bees can only sting once. When a bee sticks its stinger into your skin, it releases venom which causes pain and can affect your immune system and skin cells. Bees won't sting unless they feel threatened, but after stinging you, they can't pull their stinger out of your skin, so they have to leave it behind. The stinger contains some of the bee's digestive system, nerves, and muscles which are essential for the bee to live, so they end up not surviving. Did you know that Microsoft bought Skype for more than $10 million? Really? Yeah. Idiots! They could have downloaded it for free. You know, it's times like this, I wish I listened to what my mom said. What did she say? I don't know. I wasn't listening. Dad, I got a hundred marks. boy. In what subject? 30 in science, 20 in math, 20 in history, and 30 in English. You can only ride this roller coaster once. Yulionis Yerbonis designed this roller coaster called the Euthanasia Coaster. It's capable of holding up to 24 passengers. Once they're all on board, it starts to slowly ascend to the top, which is 510 feet in the air. That's just a little bit smaller than the tallest building in America. 
Once they're at the top, it gives everyone the decision to stop and go back down safely. After that, everyone has to manually press a button to start the ride. Then it falls at a speed of 223 miles per hour and goes through 7 loops that keep getting smaller. It's designed like this so riders maintain 10 G's of force for a full 60 seconds. Everyone's blood would rush to their feet leaving no blood left in their brain. This causes them to lose their vision and eventually black out and die. It was designed for people with uncurable diseases who wanted an unpainful death. You were today's years old when you found this out. Owl's legs are longer than you thought. When someone tells you to break a leg in an audition, it's because they want you to end up in the cast. When the first episode of a show is called Pilot, it's because it's the first time they're on air. The L in the store staples is a half-open staple. Flames don't have shadows. The blue side of the eraser is meant to clean up smudges made by the pink side. Why is there a four-year gap on your resume? Oh, that's when I was in Yale. Oh, wow, that's impressive. You're hired. Thank you so much. I really needed this job. <laughs> These are the most dangerous roads in the world. At just 12 feet long, this narrow road in Bolivia is always surrounded by rain and fog and loses two to 300 people per year. Just one wrong turn and you're falling 4,000 to 15,000 feet to the ground. This 800 mile road by the border of Pakistan and China is terrifying because of its natural disasters, including landslides, avalanches, heavy snow and flooding. From the construction alone, nearly a thousand workers passed away from landslides. This road in Norway was hit by a dozen windstorms during its construction in the 1980s. When storms begin to pick up, the road becomes filled with water making it unsafe for people driving. What prisoner invented Lamborghini? Ferruccio Lamborghini was a farmer, but he was more interested in the machinery like tractors. In 1940, he was drafted into the Italian Royal Air Force where he served as a mechanic. He was later taken as a prisoner by the British at the end of war in 1945. He worked as their mechanic and they let him go after a year. After the war in his spare time, he started making tractors and named them Lamborghinis. It ended up being one of the largest manufacturers of its kind in Italy. With his success, he started collecting cars. He was disappointed with his Ferrari 250 GT because the clutch kept breaking. When he brought it to a mechanic, he found out that the car used the same clutch he used in some of his tractors. He was mad because he pays 10 euros for a tractor's clutch and a thousand euros for the car's clutch. He decided to tell the founder Enzo Ferrari about the problem. But he said the problem wasn't with the car, it was with him because he's a farmer and a tractor driver, not a car manufacturer. After that, Ferruccio was determined, so he hired three ex-employees from Ferrari. And nine months later, his first sports car came out, which was the Lamborghini 350 GT. It proved to everyone that he wasn't just a tractor manufacturer. His employees started working on a secret project car called the Miura P400, which Ferruccio didn't know about. When he found out about it, he decided not to scrap the idea, which ended up being one of his best decisions ever. It was the world's first sports car to be made with a rear mid engine and the rear mid engine became standard on all high performance cars this is the worst form of torture white room torture is when a prisoner is locked up in a soundproof room that's completely white the walls are white their clothes are white and all they could eat is white rice on a white plate if they have to go to the bathroom they slip a white piece of paper under the door then a guard with padded shoes opens another door with a white bathroom after months or even years in the room the prisoner would start to have hallucinations they then start to forget everything including who they are and what their parents look like are these plates clean? They're as clean as cold water can get them. Just eat your meal. Are you sure these plates are clean? I told you before, those dishes are as clean as cold water can get them. Grandpa, your dog keeps growling at me. Cold water, come here. Unexplained photos that have finally been solved. Part 2. When Hurricane Sandy hit New York a few years ago, everyone started sharing this post to show how crazy it was. But it's actually just a screenshot from the movie The Day After Tomorrow that somebody posted and tricked everyone. You can find this picture all over Pinterest saying it's a Japanese watermelon. But it's actually just a regular watermelon that's photoshopped. Now this picture is real, but the story is fake. The story was that the antelope seen the tigers coming after her babies, so she sacrificed her life. But the real story is that they grew up together and they're just play fighting and no one got hurt. I'll have a cheeseburger and fries, please. Sir, you know you're in a library, right? Sorry, I'll have a cheeseburger and fries. I quit my job today. After those harsh words from my boss, I really can't work for him anymore. Wow, what did he say? You're fired. Hey, what are you doing right now? Phoning the most beautiful girl in the world. Aww, that's sweet. Yeah, but she's not answering, so I'm phoning you. <laughs> my father's name is laughing, and my mother's name is smiling. You must be kidding. No, that's my younger brother. I'm joking. Hey, pick that garbage up. Mom, look at my palace. Oh, yes, it's very nice, sweetie. What have you done? It's not that big of a deal, Mom. I'll clean it up. Nerd, give me a worksheet so I can copy it.
I'm still, um, I'm, I'm still working on the last question. Does it look like I care? The bell's about to ring soon, and I haven't done anything, so give me your worksheet or else we get a knuckle sandwich. Please, I, re I really need to finish it before the end of class, or my parents will be upset. You asked for it. <laughs> hey! Luke, no chewing gum in class. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? I'm sick of your comments about my weight. I'm leaving you. But what about our child? What child? So you're not pregnant? <gasps> I decided to climb up the beanstalk because he didn't know what he would find. Ah! Oh, who farted? Ah, oh, that's disgusting! Whoever smelt it dealt it! Excuse me, Olivia? What do you have to say for yourself? What? It wasn't me! Mm-hmm. That's what they all say. Yes, yes, yes. Hello? Hey, I uh, have a package for Luke. Oh, yeah, that's me. The first question is going to be pretty basic, just to see if paying attention, but it's what is 5 plus 2? Luke? Hmm? Can you answer my question, or are you not paying attention? Oh, uh, 7. No, you need to pay more 10. That is correct. How do you want your haircut today? Can I just get a bit off the top? Say no more. Alright, take a look. <gasps> Alright, are you ready to leave? Yep. Oh, actually wait, I should get my sunglasses. It's supposed to be really sunny out today. I'll be right back. Okay, make it quick. Where the heck could they be? Quit hitting the walls in there! What can I get for you? Hi, can I get a... <coughs> Sorry, what did you say? Can I get one... <coughs> can you turn down the music, please? I can't hear you. Sorry, can I get one Big Mac, please? Okay, is that everything? Uh, just one second. What do you... <coughs> Hello? Is that everything? May I have a McDouble, please? <coughs> Did you say a McDouble? Yes, I said a McDouble! Okay, and is that all for today? <laughs> Can I get a... Yes, that's everything, thank you. No diving! Go have a shower. Can I have one tomorrow? I'm watching TV. You didn't have one yesterday, so you probably stink, and it's getting close to your bedtime, so go have one right now.
gun. Jeez, that was quick. Yeah, well, you know, I just needed to wash with soap and water down, and now I'm done. It's past your bedtime. Go to bed. Okay, good night. Yesterday I was golfing with Ben and oh my gosh, he's so funny. I know, right? One time he- Oh, that reminds me. Do you guys want to go and watch a movie with me tomorrow? Yeah, of course. Awesome. What movie should we go to? Uh, how about the new Sonic the Hedgehog movie? Yes! What about you, Luke? Yeah, I guess. Hey! Is somebody there? No, 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 no! <laughs> Get back here! Excuse me, did I step on your shoe on the way to the bathroom? As a matter of fact, you did. Oh good, then this is my robe. <gasps> I'm sorry, but you suffer from a terminal illness and you only have ten to live. Ten what? Years? Months? Weeks? Nine. What? Eight. <laughs> you think you're smart? Yeah, I'd say so. Oh yeah? Spell it. S-M-A-R-T. I said spell it. <gasps> Scientists may have found a way to live forever. There are companies that freeze you as soon as you die. This is called cryonics. They remove your blood and replace it with antifreeze so it keeps your cells alive. They then put your body in storage and freeze it at minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit. They hope that one day in the future when technology and medicine evolves, they could be brought back to life. Secrets hotels don't want you to know. The free breakfast they offer isn't really free. The cost of the breakfast is included in the room's rate. The people who work in housekeeping only straighten the sheets and arrange the pillows. They only wash them if there's a visible stain. Booking a room is more expensive at night because that's when most people are looking for reservations. The ideal time to call the hotel is between 5 and 6 p.m. Because at night they increase their prices because they know there's not many other options. Tipping the staff can give you a lot of benefits, such as deeper cleaning in your room, a special treatment, improvements in your room, and in general, better service. Five-star hotels know your social status before you arrive, and will give more attention to famous or wealthy people. And lastly, everything is negotiable. Hotels will always be open to negotiating a few things so you stay and leave a high review. I'm feeling thirsty. Can you please get me some water? Should I get you some pizza as well? Oh wow, that would be great. My mouth's watering already. Good, that means you don't need the water anymore. <laughs> I'm so fat, I want to lose weight. How much do you want to lose? At least 10 pounds. Then I would try taking off your makeup. <gasps> All jokes aside, if you want to lose weight, click the link on my profile, then press workout from home to download it. Then once it installs, fill out the information and they'll give you workout videos to follow for your body type and goal. That's exactly what I need, thank you. What kind of boyfriend are you looking for? A boy who doesn't drink or smoke, and he must wake up at 5 a.m. and go to sleep at 9 p.m. I know where you could find a boy like that. You do? Where? In jail. Woo! Hey teacher, how do I do this question? You should have listened properly. What did you say? You should have listened properly. <gasps> Luke, give me your phone. But I already finished the test. Oh yeah? Let me see then. Yeah, you definitely failed. Why are you always so mean to me? Let me tell you something. You will never make it in me. Oh my gosh, sir, you're my favorite actor right now. Do you mind if I get a picture? <laughs> Thanks, yeah. but no. What? <laughs> Why not? Don't you remember me? I'm Mr. You will never make it in life. Yeah, tracking and dope, turn me to a superhero, yeah. How can we keep our school clean? Timothy? By staying at home. Officer, I need your help. What is it, ma'am? Yesterday my husband went to the grocery store to buy potatoes, but he hasn't come home yet. Then why don't you cook something else? <laughs> Did you have your lunch? Did you have your lunch? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Are you copying me? Are you copying me? Let's go shopping. Yes, I had my lunch. What's your name? I don't have a name. What do you mean you don't have a name? Everyone has a name. I do have a name. Then tell me your name. I don't have a name. Girl, ah! this class is so easy. I'm gonna do all my homework and get a good grade this year. Dude, I was thinking the exact same thing. All right, class, for homework, I want you to do pages 35 to 52 in the textbook. <laughs> Forget that. I'd like to return this back. Why? Is it broken? No, it just sucks. 
What happened? Why are you so sad? My girlfriend broke up with me. How come? It's all because of you. What? How? You told me to get her a chain for her birthday. Did you give her one with fake gold? No, I gave her a bicycle chain. <gasps>